Right, guys. A BOD test was conducted on domestic wastewater at 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, they are doing BOD test. Domestic wastewater at 30 degrees Celsius is like Malaysia, okay? 30 degrees Celsius. The wastewater portion added to a BOD bottle. You can imagine our BOD bottle like this, okay? And then it was 20 ml only. And the dissolved oxygen value listed below were measured. And then at day 0, 7.4. And then day 1, 5.5. Okay, to make it fast, at day 5, 2.1 milligram per liters. So calculate values for BOD3. Okay, calculate values for BOD3. So one, I think I would like to give you, try to solve this first before I give the answer, okay? BOD3, how do you calculate BOD3? So, remember, BO0 minus BO3 divided by the dilution factor. Bear in mind that the, uh, the bottle uh, volume is actually 300 ml. It seems that you have already got the answer, perhaps. Doctor, I get the answer in 55.5 mg per liter. So let's find out. Here the first part. Yes, 55.5. But it seems that everyone is okay. So your first answer is that. <laughs> right, guys. Focus on question part B. Determine the BOD rate constant. K30. Okay, determine the BOD rate constants, K30. So we remember that if you want to find out our K, we need to plot graphs, right? So for us to plot graph, you have to, you know, somehow the times there has got to be um, divided by the BOD, right? And then it needs to be power of one third, if you remember. And then from that data, you have to plot them against the times. Okay, so let's try to do these two parts first. I would like you, you guys to find out your BOD1, BOD2, and then find out the value for time divided by BOD, okay, to the power of one third. Just for four of these only. Okay, I'd like to, uh, Jian Huan, to share your answer for BOD1. The EOT one is uh, 28.5. That's right. Okay. What about time divided by BOD? Uh, Kershaw? 0 0.33. 0 0.33. Correct. Okay. 0 0.33 or 0 0.33. Right. So, Catherine, what is your BOD2? 0 0.36. Oh, that is this one, right? Yeah. Okay, you've already given the answer for this one. 0 .0 0 0.36. So what about the BOD? Someone else? 43.5. 43.5. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So we have all this data. And then from this data, you need to plot graph. Okay, I'll give you times to write down. Finish already? Yes, okay. Sure. After having this data, obtaining all this data and also this data, okay, you need to plot a graph. You will be able to see this kind of graph. Okay, then you calculate the slope or the gradient, and B is equal to 0 0.016, and our A is 0 0.322. Okay, or the intercept is 0 0.322. So you remember your K30 is equal to 2.61 times B divided by A, so 2.61 times this value, that will be divided by A is equal to 0 0.13 per day, okay, with a butterfly here, flying here, 0 0.13 per day. Right, I give you time to write down this.